Greetings everyone. Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. This is Aisha, your Tuesday vlogger. And we have an exciting and interesting question this week. Um, there's quite a few layers to it, but uh, half of it doesn't pertain to me. <laughs> and I have Sam in my arms um, this week. And many of you have seen Samson in the background and uh, he's such a little sweetie. Um, but he ties into this question this week. I will read through the question and then I'll get to the portion that pertains to me. It's a viewer question. Um, Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Significant Other Support. <clears throat> Do you have support from your significant other? Did you meet prior to or after weight loss surgery? What has been the biggest impact or change in how you relate as a couple since weight loss surgery. And if you are single, that would be me, <laughs> not married, are dating more, are you dating more post-op, uh, post-weight loss surgery, and do you share that you are a weight loss surgery person? And what is the toughest part about dating as a weight loss surgery peep? <laughs> And so I brought Sam along because I have a joke with my friends. Uh, every week he asks me, when am I going to get him a daddy? <laughs> and so um, this is my little dependent. He's my only dependent. And, um, you know, coming into weight loss surgery and being single, uh, it, it does create more opportunity um, to meet different people and have more experiences um, and for me it has been more experiences than I had as a pre-op person and so it's been a, a pretty interesting journey I am um, headed into 22 months post-op on the 16th and uh, half of this time uh, has been me you know having more experiences uh, in the dating world and uh, it's been a very interesting journey and so the question as it relates to me, it says, if you are single, not married, are you dating more post weight loss surgery? So the answer would be yes. Um, do you share that you are a weight loss surgery person? And I'm going to put Sam down because uh, he has had his little time in the spotlight here. <laughs> but... Um, do you share that you are a weight loss surgery person? I have chosen to keep quiet about that part of my life, um, especially on the upfront. And if I'm hanging out with someone longer than normal, then you know more questions will come up based on just the fact that I eat differently than perhaps they do. And so um, I'll eventually share even as much as I just lost a significant amount of weight and I leave out the surgery portion. I, I don't know how come I haven't felt totally proud of it and comfortable with sharing that I've had weight loss surgery, but it's still something that I regard as very personal and I just don't put it out there. And it does tie into the fact that people have all kinds of judgments about it. But when I have shared it, you know, consistently, people have been proud of me. But, um, and then what is the toughest part about dating as a weight loss surgery person? For me, <clears throat> the toughest piece is having to go out to dinner with any kind of regularity. Um, I had a big problem with restaurants pre-op. I mean, that was my thing. That was the be all end all was going out to restaurants and being able to eat up whatever I wanted to and then being post-op I wanted to break up that relationship and that excitement that comes with going out to eat and so I'm finding that I would rather do other things than always go out to dinner or out to lunch um, as a date I would rather you know do other activities and so that would be probably the hardest part. And then secondly would be sharing the journey, you know, telling a man that I lost 190 pounds 
is to me a little bit of embarrassment because that you know that leaves room to know that I was huge um, and so I still struggle with that in terms of sharing that part of my life and then anyone that's come to my house can stumble upon a picture because I have pictures up and some of them are you know from pre-op and so you can see that I was significantly different looking and then I can answer from there that yeah that was me um, but I'm still learning to uh, be proud of the fact that I had surgery and that it was you know not something that I should be ashamed of um, certainly having surgery has significantly changed my life and my desirability if you will uh, and that's been fun and I, I don't have a problem with being desired more as a person with a normal BMI than I was as a heavy person I've said this on my own channel Grell and Be Gone that um, I think someone asked me a question and I left it in a comment that I, didn't, I don't have a problem with that aspect of being desired more as a thin person because I didn't necessarily like me in the end so how could I expect someone to like me if I didn't like me um, but uh, it's certainly something to think about as a single person if you're new to the journey and your weight is coming off and the attention is growing towards you um, I totally think we need to embrace it and accept that people can see our authenticity without so much obesity, without being overweight. Uh, people get to see who you really are. And, you know, that sort of ties into even my style of always wearing my hair up because I just want to be seen just as myself. Um, I don't want to be covered in any kind of way. And um, it just sort of ties into how people are attracted to you, you know. Um, for me, I just want to be accepted as I am. So it's been a, a tremendous change in that area of my life. Um, it's been fun. Um, I will say that the um, time that I've had, you know, uh, the opportunity to, to see someone or date someone that was a bariatric person, I think was a little bit more fun because we share, you know, some similar problems, if you will, or a similar experience with significant weight loss um, and the times when it's been a person with the same kind of surgery. That's even sweeter because we understand, you know, the ins and outs of what can happen. And so I have, you know, now opened my heart to being okay with dating someone in the bariatric world who's post-bariatric like myself. Initially, I think I had a problem with it. I don't know why, but um, I'm a little bit more open to the idea now and in fact, think it would be probably better <laughs> that um, I have a bariatric person in my life. So uh, we shall see, the plot thickens. Um, Samson will have a daddy one day. <laughs> And, um, you know, we'll see how that goes. But uh, certainly to the previews and the newbies on the journey and you're single, get ready for a ride <laughs> because uh, it certainly can be fun. So anyway, I hope that I answered the question uh, as they were laid out to me this week. And uh, you guys have yourself a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.